Hey guys, in this video I thought I'd make a little walkthrough on how to play Wanderers IO. So this series of video will pretty much be based on my opinion of the game, not really based on factual stuff. So pretty much you start out the game with two people, my archer and a axeman, and I just bought this guy. And you can buy people using meat, and then you can spend wood on tools. So as you see the axe costs two wood and bow costs another two wood. And the archers shoot rabbits to get food, that's how you get food. And the axemen cut down trees, like this tree, to get wood. You can have a maximum of six people if the price increases. And if you look over here, there's this little box thing, and it gives you stuff. And this counter, every time you kill a rabbit, you get one point. And you can use those points, eventually you'll level up. See, I just leveled up. You can buy these upgrades. So, I like to get the scythe, the farmer, because now I can get another person, give him a scythe, and now he can <laughs> cut the grass and give me stuff, because you can get some pretty good stuff. Sometimes you get food, sometimes you get wood, see? And then, as you buy more people, the price of the tools increase as well. See, I leveled up again, and now I can get, like... There's a hood for increasing health, which is good if you want to be fighting. A sword, which is like a knight, and they fight. The bad part of having knights is that they get targeted first, so watch out for that. And then you have the hammer, who... He mines stone to give you gold, which you can spend gold to get stuff, like hoods and swords. Butchery increases food. Cannibalism means you get more food when you kill people. And then mushrooms, I actually kind of like the mushrooms. Because now I can click mushrooms and they give me food for free. See, I watched them do that. And now these two are fighting, see? Your people fight. It's like a turn based thing. And then the bar <laughs> down here is their health. So pretty much you just go around getting food and collecting that stuff. And eventually you... Your points that you earn are calculated up here. So right now I have 12 points. And the highest person right now has 702. And you need to get rabbits to get food and you can heal your people by placing on a campfire and lighting it. Then they spend food, as you see that food was thrown out, and they give it to that person and they heal up one point. So now he's full health. So I can collect these mushrooms as well to get food if I wanted to. See, now that's three food that I got from doing mushrooms, which is pretty good. Let's see if the- and then now these guys might fight. Out or not. Then this box, you know, the box is also give you one point. Killing the soldiers sometimes give you one point, sometimes they give you two points. It depends. So now I can afford another person, Now I'll give him another bow, so I can get food better. And I can get another person, you know, I'll give him an axe. Oh, I can't afford an axe, yeah. And then the clouds, sometimes they flow over, and then they'll rain and give you trees. Which I think is pretty cool. So we'll wait until it upgrade again, and I can explain the rest of the upgrades. Alright, so I leveled up again, and I'll explain these last four. So stay makes it so that you can order one of your minions to stay at these meadows. Which I don't think is very useful, because one versus like six, you're not going to win. Let me just kill this guy right here. The next one is farming, which means that you cutting grass provides food because right now cutting grass only gives wood, so it's not very good. We just run away from this guy. Oh, and then saw means you get two wood per tree, and but tree gives you two wood, two food per person, two rat per rabbit. And then missionary means that the barbarians like that guy right here, like this dude won't fight you which I think is pretty good it's only but the only problem is that you can't get resources from the meadows I don't really understand that part because you can still get food from that area the shield makes it so that you can increase block chance and hood gives you extra health the hood has a maximum level of I think four and the shield has a maximum level of three I think so that's pretty much all the upgrades and the hoods cost coins and so do the shields. As you see, once I gave him the hood, he has 5 health now. So some of the barbarians have health, extra health as well. 
So I leveled up again to see now I can get a level 2 health. You have to buy the hat so that it's not like they just increase on their own. So it costs gold. But you know, it's worth it. So that guy's a swordsman. You can tell because he's holding that sword. So let's see if they fight. So they won. So I got one point from there. And if I kill this dude over here, I'm pretty sure I will get like five, two or three points. So let's see what happens. Yes, so I got two points. Usually, the smaller people only give you one. This right here, this shack, allows you to convert your coins to food. There's another one on this side of the map that allows you to convert your gold to wood. Your wood to gold. So, you know. This right here is stone. You can get, um, you can get the miners to mine stone. And you get gold. So that's pretty much just a you know basic walkthrough. And now I'm going to give you a little review of the game. Okay, so here's my review of the game. First of all, the game's pretty well made, you know? There's some pretty great features, the graphics are pretty nice. You know, it's really nice. It's a game that I would recommend to you if you had time to spend. It takes a long time to really play the game, and it takes a while to level up. Because the accuracy of the bows usually aren't great, and most of the time leveling up requires you to hunt. So, if you have time to play the game, I would recommend you play it. It's pretty great. But, it's really not too great for those who don't really have much time, and it does take a while to get used to the controls. Especially, the grabbing of the movement controls. It's not as precise as I, as I want it to be, but it's still a pretty good game. Um, the leaderboard is not... I'm not a huge fan of leaderboard, because I don't think it should be based on points, based on how many you've earned. I feel like it should be more of a... not really a level-based thing, but like a slightly different point system. I don't know what I would choose, but I just don't like the point system they have now for the leaderboard. I like the level system, and I do also like how you can only reach a certain level because, you know, you don't want overpowered tribes. I feel like they should balance out the people a little bit better, but overall, the game is pretty good and I would recommend it to you if you want to go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description, and yeah, that is my review. So please, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Mm hmm.